Good day, my friends. I want to talk about my sun cells. I actually have added to my collection of sun cells. I started out with one, and I'll show you some pictures of my first one, which is an 8x10 and fits really well over the side of my van. So I started out with that one and I just fell in love with it so much and through my travels I started to see that sometimes I needed a little bit more coverage because I really try to protect my skin when I'm out traveling around in the desert or anywhere where it's warm a lot of sun obviously and they really do help also in windy conditions as well so we'll talk a little bit more about that as i show my new sizes and shapes <laughs> that i ended up adding to my collection but here's a picture of my first one all right here is my first one that i got and I have just loved it so much. Um, I got it about two years ago. And this is the 8x10 one that I showed in the pictures. And I got these poles as well. They're just tent poles. And I might get a few more. And I did get one extra one. But I think I might add more to my collection of tent poles. And the thing about this is it's great because you can pull it taut. It's more wind resistant. It also lets light through, but it also protects against the ultraviolet rays. So it's just amazing in these kind of circumstances where you now I travel. <laughs> so I ended up getting this one back here. And this one here was only like $19. And I thought, yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and get a triangle, even though I wasn't sure that it was going to work. Because my thought process was to block the sun or as the sun is setting, but also still enjoy my view and not cut you know my view as much as possible so i did get that but i also noticed in some circumstances uh, where i thought i might put it it was a little bit too small because i thought well maybe sometimes i could put it over my door when i'm just going to pit stop for a couple of days and take off again and it could be easy to set up but it didn't work out that way because it's just too small but it works really really well as you can see just off of a side and i love it so this is an eight by eight triangle and then i have it staked down here at the bottom and no poles okay now you do get some openings with the sun cells but obviously you can move around your chair and work around it and it really hasn't been a problem but the reason i like them is you can pull them so taut and again the air and wind does kind of move around through them without destroying them and they're just so great for the wind i couldn't have asked for you know a better setup or at least it works for me okay so then i added this one i just got this one i don't know maybe about a couple of weeks ago and i decided to get an eight by eight square now why i decided to go with the square is because of the triangle one not working at times when I thought I just might want a smaller one in the cooler temperatures uh, just over my door because sometimes we want the sun because it gives us warmth. Uh, today it's a lot warmer. It's going to warm up for actually several days so I don't need to have it over my door but there are times that it did work out having it just over the door but I could also move out and get into the sun a little bit more um, instead of putting up the big 8x10 one or I can also add 
to my shade, especially once again in the win winter when the sun is lower in the sky, you'll get the sun coming down in a little bit more at an angle. So that really works for those low sun days. And I like them because you can move them into different positions. So I have another pole here and I might end up getting one more uh, when the sun is a little bit higher. But right now that works for that corner so I can still look out and block that sun as the sun is passing through. And then I just have it anchored over here on that one corner in the morning. Now in this situation, I'll show you. So if I'm sitting over here, okay, I was just, I moved the chair there so I could film you. You'll see where my view is not blocked. So I can sit here and still enjoy my view. Oh yeah, you got your ropes, but you know, that doesn't bother me at all. The most important thing for me has always been to protect my skin. That's just me. But I'm still gonna maximize a lot of my view as much as possible. Now, because I have a heel right behind me over here, I'm not really losing too much of a view at this point, so I just brought and anchored my corner down like that and that's why I want to get maybe one more stay um, pull sorry so that I can put this corner up and still look out and have a little bit more of a view at times but it really just depends on oh there's motor <laughs> it just depends on where I'm at and what kind of a view the circumstances of the Sun and things like that that's going to affect how I'm going to want to position this. Okay, but I just really love my options. All right, so I'm going to show a little bit how I anchor this down. So I always have your main pole, okay, coming up here that's supporting your corners. And I double stake it out. So I have it going there. And over there and then this one too I have my pole and I have it anchored out there and over there the reason I do that is because it is going to secure it the best okay so no matter where the wind comes it's going to give it a really taut um, anchor point so it's less likely to get picked up by any kind of wind up to about 20 maybe 25 mile per hour winds I've had my sun cells up anything more than that I do take them down okay so you can see here how I have it anchored okay so it's from there from there and it also depends on how the wind is going and we'll talk about that in just a second now what I do is I use rope and then I put the rope around the stake and then I'll use these ties and then I can just take my ties and pull it taut. I have done videos on how I've done my main sun cell. Okay, same thing. The only thing now this one here, I did not use a pole but I have it anchored up at the top around this pole and then I have it pulled down taut at the bottom with my military stakes and I'll talk about those real quickly here at the end I love my military stakes that Kent had you know given me a bunch of them just love them and then this one over here because this is the way that I have this one set up as I mentioned I only have one pole and then anchored low down with the stake and then I have only one tie because I'm sure that's all I'm going to need. If I feel like I have to anchor it any more than that, then I'll throw out another line. But I wasn't sure if I was going to keep that up or not. But so far, so good. One other thing that I want to point out is how these are constructed and reinforced. So on the ends, they have a ring 
and then it's double stitched and it's just reinforced really strong and that's another reason why they hold up so well in windy conditions okay and that's my setup with my three sun cells now if you notice a little bit of trash around me oh my gosh um, I just did a video called the beauty and the beast and I will put a link to that and I have just been seeing more and more trash through my travels so this is my new spot I just got here set this all up um, yesterday and I'm gonna go around and pick up the trash but check out that video and it talks about some of the struggles that we do go through when we're traveling <laughs> unfortunately so that's what that's about and I'll, I'll pick it up you know but other people don't seem to care <laughs> you know pack it in pack it out remember that is our travel um, philosophy or rule so that way the next person comes up they can enjoy it but half the time we're picking up you know after people so unfortunately that's the way it is now back on the sun cell one of the things that i want to mention is this one here was about the big one eight by ten was um, about forty dollars so they're really not expensive and the one behind me, the square one, the 8x8 square, was only $20. So I happened to get this particular one on sale. And then, of course, the 8x8 triangle one was um, only $20. So they're very affordable, and that's why I like them. Um, and like I said, they're just so great when there is you know some kind of wind coming through um, they're just very tolerant of the wind where your awnings are going to be picked up and ripped up and it could be crazy when strong winds can come all of a sudden gusts things like that now anytime I do know that there's going to be a strong storm or wind windy conditions I will take them down anything above about 25 mile per hour steady winds or gust I do not take a chance um, I was somewhere else where strong winds came about 35 mile per hour and stronger gusts than that um, that was just the steady wind and I took that down in as it was really you know struggling and I did not want to rip it up so I did kind of test it for that but I honestly did not feel good about it and got it down so that's my comfort level about it whether it really could have withstand that kind of you know when I don't know I wasn't going to take the chance the other thing that I like to use is these military stakes that I talked about and I like them because they are a very very heavy duty um, I believe they're aluminum they feel like that's what they are but they're very strong uh, aluminum let's see if it says on here no it doesn't say it just has a number on here um, so very thick more than what you're going to see if you went online looking for any kind of aluminum type um, stakes they're not going to be as strong and you know thick as this one is and I also like the shape of it so the way it's curved you know it's got these little tips it allows me to um, be able to get it out of the ground because I do have some mobility issues and struggles and I struggle with my hand so I'm able to get my shovel or something like that and pull it up so much easier and sometimes or just be just pulling up with my rope and it's very easy to um, hammer this into the ground it's just because of the shape so it makes it easy to use because of my disabilities where the other type of stakes are more of a challenge so I love these they're military <laughs> stakes if you get a chance to research and look for those all right so I just wanted to share um, my setup how I make my shade 
how I've added on <laughs> to my collection and I can't be happier. I'm just truly so happy with these sun cells. And my best friend, Christina, <laughs> I love you out there, <laughs> is the one who first got me hooked on the sun cell. Just can't thank her enough for uh, telling me about them. The only downfall is, like I said, is the curved shape, but um, you have to kind of work around the sun sometimes in some positions. But I just move around, you know, it's no problem. I, it's because of that shape that they have, they're curved, you can pull them taut makes them more wind resistant and you can manipulate them and turn them into different positions. I could even take this corner and I've staked that down where, where I still have to have a pole here if I just put my 8x10 up. I can take that corner, stake it down low um, or use a shorter pole on that one, use the taller pole here. They're just so versatile as I mentioned and what you can do with them and, and they'll still be wind resistant where the other ones are not going to, the wind is just gonna catch them and pull them because these have a material that allows the wind to kind of go through them a little bit but still block the ultraviolet ray, rays and as I mentioned, but also allow the wind to work around them, you know, through them, around them. But also, one last tip is how you position your vehicle. You want to make sure that um, you park your vehicle not where the wind is going to come straight on. So west is over there, most of the wind comes this way. So if it got a little more windy than I felt comfortable, I would take this short one down. It'll just come down super fast. And then the wind is just going to pass through this direction right because that's east and uh, north is that way and west is this way so most of the time we've been getting our wind just a little bit more southwest or sometimes north and i'm not affected at all at this point by anything coming north and if anything's going to come this direction it's just going to pass right through other than maybe the small sun cell if that becomes a problem comes down in a heartbeat so um, yeah that's my setup <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna do little videos like this um, of things that have made my life much easier on the road uh, maybe little tips I'll be doing that in between my videos so if you want to see more things like this make sure to subscribe and uh, you'll be notified if you ring that little bell when there'll be more videos coming. I'm going to try to get them by Friday, Saturday. Sometimes it might be every other one, but I'll work on trying to get them out every week if I can. All right, so thank you for coming along and um, seeing my son's house. I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.